think maybe I hit Costco. I'm gonna snack a big ass widescreen. Here's a much awaited sequel to our recent video for all the Costco food court lovers out there. We've listened to all of you in the comments in the hopes of keeping Costco food court fans and foes updated on what's brewing inside what some consider to be the most mouthwatering fast food paradise known to humanity's teeming and hungry masses. So here are 10 secrets you didn't know about Costco food court part two. Because at Costco, you save money. Price changes at the Costco food court. We're sure you'll see the quality difference. Many people have time and again profess to anyone who will listen that they love the Costco food court to death. And no matter what the haters say, many individuals still insist that the famous or infamous food court of America does dish out great and tasty food. Unfortunately, some in the Costco boardroom have insisted on introducing some heartbreaking changes. There ain't gonna be no sushis, chimichangas, or pizza pie. No nothing. Many people adore the great deals you can find at the Costco food court. One such fan asked why Costco increased the mocha freeze from $165 to $299. Huh? That seems like an extreme price hike, doesn't it? I don't think so. Perhaps nobody will ever know except Costco food court management. What once seemed like a great deal and perhaps a reason to make a special trip to Costco now compares in price with many other coffee places offering the same ice drink. But if you need to pick up a five gallon jar of pickles at the same time, then it'll still be worth the trip. The Costco food court deep frying question. They should never put the deep fryer so cool. Here, at last, is the inside story. While many Costco establishments still sport the no deep frying look, the not so greasy outlook is definitely changing across the board. The powers that be at McDonald's didn't about face when it abandoned the deep fried apple pies in favor of the baked version. But could the Costco fast food court haven be going in the other direction? The answer is yes, and evidently so. Step away from the fryer before you burn us all alive. Despite the question of their widespread existence. The Costco food court aficionados are weighing in and what has now become the raging Costco deep fryer controversy. The scoop from one Costco fan is that Costco does have deep fryers, at least they do in Quebec, Canada. The poutine is the smoking gun for the existence of the Costco fast food deep fryer in this case. So if the Costco food court has cheese curds, gravy, and fries, there has to be a deep fryer somewhere. Others concur in regards to this matter. Anything food related is going to have unannounced government inspections. So, the overwhelming conclusion is that Costco in Canada does have deep fryers. Have you checked your nearest Costco food court yet? Let the truth be seen and heard. Maybe we need to call in Shaggy, Scooby, and the rest of the gang to solve this mystery once and for all. It's funny you mention Costco because... The Great Escape to the Costco Food Court, sans card membership. I've got every membership ever offered by Costco. That you can escape to the Costco fast food court without the benefit of a Costco card is yet another raging controversy regarding the retail wholesale giant that must be brought to light. That is, in the hopes that the controversy disappears like an ice cube in the sun. Oh, Houdini's gonna love this one. Separately, on an unrelated note, if you happen to find a small brass key. Many viewers suggested what to do if you're not a Costco member and the food court is inside. This is where a little trickery is involved. Simply saunter through the exit. Apparently, nobody will check for your Costco membership there. Then just sneak your way over to the food court and place your order. Yeah, all you have to do when you don't have 60 bucks to spare for a Costco membership is walk in the exit to get to the Costco food court. Since many Costco stores typically have a similar layout, most of the food courts are inside and on the exit side of the cash registers. You missed one. All right, if you're feeling brave, feel free to walk in through the exit and go directly to the food court with the hope no one bats an eyelash. Could it really be that easy? Some have said it's even easier than that, with certain Costco food courts open to the public. And there are some rumors out there that you can eat at the food court without any worries. You won't be checked for the Costco card. Is that a promise? We sure hope so. Imagine the disappointment of being turned away at the door by Costco security. One Costco employee was happy to disclose online that their employer has an inside food court. You just walk in through the exit and you won't get questioned. Really? Again? No security guard? Supposedly, Costco employees are supposed to let people in the exit without checking their card. Go figure. And what to do if indeed the unthinkable happens and Sylvester the security guard shows up at the exit? How is a person supposed to survive and feed their family on that kind of a salary? All you want to do is chow down on a couple of hot dogs. One option if this happens is to try to flash a similar colored card or an old receipt to the security guard. They'll never check to see if it's valid. Unless, of course, you're doing the chorus line or the moonwalk all the way to the food court. Whether these tips grant you free access to the Costco food court or not, we've also heard that the opposite is true. That you will get stopped and are not allowed to access the food court without a membership. So be on the lookout. The fast food police are coming, maybe to a Costco near you. Don't say we didn't warn you. You do have a membership card. Um, sir, I work here. True or false, Costco Food Court's pizza is still the best deal. 
We ordered the same thing. How serendipitous. <laughs> Some might think that getting a Subway footlong is a filling and delicious deal of a meal. The Costco pizza may just give this deal a run for its money, though. Costco pizza is awesome. It's not only delicious, but for the cool factor alone, the Costco pizza robots get a huge thumbs up. Of course, we need to thank the Costco employees, too. After all, both humans and robots contribute to the making of this high-tech dream pizza. While most reviews are positive, some believe that Costco pizza is not the real McCoy. Just because I brought pizza back from New York doesn't mean it went bad. Uh-huh. Some are throwing shade at this top-ranking Costco food court item for tasting like canned spaghetti sauce over a rubbery crust. These types tend to believe that only people raised on frozen pizza or school cafeteria pizza could love this product. It's short of saying that Costco pizza has a face that only a mother could love. I thought I made myself very clear. Okay, we get that it may not look like the perfect Hollywood picture-perfect pizza slice, but shouldn't taste matter? Yes, the slice looks lanky and soggy and all that, but it's the taste that makes a big difference. It's really cheap and it tastes pretty darn good. One thing that has been noticed recently, however, is that Costco is starting to put less cheese on their pizzas, and more so when it comes to the company's plain cheese pizzas. So see if you notice a difference next time you order a pizza from the Costco food court. Consider yourself warm. Oh, yeah. Sir, I think you should take a look at- Whoa! No! What? Bursting the Costco rotisserie chicken bubble. Bring me one of those chickens. Sacrificial chicken? Not anymore. The claim that Costco actually loses money by selling its rotisserie chicken at five bucks a piece is now starting to look like an urban myth. If you were to do the math and take Costco's 90 million members multiplied by the annual $60 membership fee, this lady doesn't have a membership card. This would amount to $5.4 billion going into Costco coffers annually. With this obscene amount of money, Costco members are actually paying the company a staggering sum just for the privilege of shopping at the store. We don't know the wholesale cost of chicken and what it costs to cook up, but at five bucks for a chicken, Every member can buy at least a dozen before Costco starts losing any money on the deal. Besides, you're probably going to buy yourself a set of tires and some cereal too. Then stop at the Costco food court before you leave the store anyways. I'll still take that chicken. The Costco and Walmart chicken debate. I'm used to lots of things. I work at Walmart. Costco believers are absolutely convinced that the company has the best deal in the whole of the USA when it comes to their rotisserie chicken for five bucks. In fairness, however, others allege that the Walmart equivalent is actually priced at $4.98, while the family size version sells for $8.88 at the discount chain. The proof? Well, we're still searching. We went out to a few nearby Walmarts in search of that better rotisserie chicken deal and left empty-handed. Not only that, but when we asked for cooked whole rotisserie chicken, a Walmart employee actually grinned and said there was no such thing in these parts. So who are we to believe now? Yeah, if you go to the customer service, maybe they can help you out. Yeah. I guess it depends on the area you're in when it comes to that elusive Walmart 498 rotisserie chicken. So, even if the Walmart equivalent is out there, with a two penny difference, can't we all just shake hands and call it a tie? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The great chicken price wars are heating up. Heat them up! It seems that the Costco rotisserie chicken has unleashed a ton of copycats out there. Or is it the other way around? Let's see. We've heard that certain Walmart outlets sell the equivalent of Costco rotisserie chicken for under five bucks. Others claim that Sam's Club has the same chicken for $4.99. However, from another's point of view, Sam's Club members can snag a three pound bird for less than 10 bucks. Apparently then, there are inconsistencies which makes it hard to compare when it comes to alternative rotisserie chicken deals. And here's the scoop from another informant. Wegmans Food Markets, an American supermarket chain, sells its three flavors of rotisserie chicken for $4.99 a piece also. Thank you, Seth. Hey, thank you. Furthermore, based on the observation of yet another fast food bargain hunter, BJ's Wholesale Club has exactly the same cooked product for the exact same price that Costco has managed to maintain all these years, or is it decades at this point? Others have said that Kroger Smith's also has cooked rotisserie chicken at two for 10 bucks. To add to the overheating cooked whole chicken price wars, there are reports that Priceless has 4.88 per chicken. This is priceless. And another bargain hunter attests that Winco Superstore has whole roasted chicken, the exact same as Costco, for just four bucks. Others have joined the fray too, swearing on a chicken's grave that other rotisserie chickens, aka non-Costco ones, taste much better. Well, with the chicken price wars heating up, there's no reason not to try them all and choose the best deal based on the best taste. Like a food court, sir? Playing the Costco food court savings game. The hell's a food court?
Now that the word is out, fast food discounting will never be the same again. Certainly not with all the cost-saving possibilities that the Costco food court has unleashed. When you can grab a slice of pizza and a cooked chicken, eat the pizza and half the chicken, then use the other half of the chicken to make fried rice the next day, that's seven bucks for two meals. Now that is playing the food court savings game. I just came from the price club. I'm loaded up, baby. Apparently, the local Costco in Westfield Wheaton in Maryland has its food court outside the store, but within the mall adjacent to the store. The word on the street is that this could be the best three bucks and 70 cents anyone can spend in the DC area. And that, of course, is the cost of the eternal hot dog with drink and a pizza slice. Others have adopted a different style when it comes to the savings game. You may end up saving hundreds of dollars with your Costco membership, not only shopping, but by stopping by the food court too. While this is not exactly winning the lottery, with the extra cash, maybe go out to the movies or something. And on the way, drop by the Costco food court to get the mighty chicken bake. Shake and bake. Yeah. What? Shake and bake. If you want to save tons of money, follow the leads. We've heard the Costco food court chicken bake is a great value and one of the tastiest things on the menu, like a Hot Pocket on steroids. Ooh la la. Hot Pocket. Better Costco food court deals in Canada. But this ain't Canada. As the old saying goes, the grass is always greener on the other side. The same can also be said when it comes to food options, specifically poutine, the Canadian fast food consisting of fries, gravy, and cheese curds, which is always a surefire knockout. Costco USA might have a more delicious pizza, however, for a genuine feast, all you need to do is go to Canada. Welcome to the wonderful world of fries, gravy, chicken tenders, chicken wings, and espresso. But for Vince, he loves the wings at Costco. And Costco's hot dog and pop deal gets even better north of the border. According to one Canadian, the world famous this Costco combo is a buck fifty in Canadian dollars. So the sought after duo works out to around just one ten in US dollars when you consider the exchange rate. Plus, you don't need a Costco card to eat. You enter via customer service and go directly to fast food heaven. Welcome to Costco. I love you. The funny thing is, as per one diehard Canadian Costco fan, 99% of Costco employees don't realize that you don't need a Costco membership to dine at the food court. So our question is, if 99% of the staff don't know the rules, then how is the general public supposed to know? Hmm, got tons of it at Costco. You see, I've got an exclusive membership card. R.I.P. Polish Hot Dog, July 2018. We're gonna miss you, little man. <laughs> We don't want to break anyone's heart, but unfortunately, this is just how the cookie crumbles. Apparently, Costco got rid of the Polish hot dog and only sports the beef hot dogs nowadays. Luckily, the hot dog and pop combo, the amazing pizza deal, and of course the great Costco rotisserie chicken have all managed to survive the test of time. The Polish dog will be missed. It was the reason that some patrons would hit the Costco food court a couple of nights a week, just for the famous Polish dog and a soda. Nobody, I mean nobody, puts ketchup on a hot dog. Costco's also reportedly making healthier changes to their food court menu. While Costco's beloved $1.50 all-beef hot dog combo will remain, Costco shoppers and Costco food court lovers should brace themselves for the addition of more healthy eating options. Would you like to try some chowder? Unfortunately, the Polish dog was the first casualty in this changing of the guard. But if the recent Costco food court switch into the deep frying business is any indication, the news is probably just a rumor. Could you keep this on the QT for like two minutes? No. There's no membership card needed for more of our great videos. Just tap that screen. And if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button and knock that bell to join our notification squad.